Looking to create a goal in Google Analytics to track conversions on your site? In today's video, we'll show you two ways to track conversions so you can make data-driven decisions for optimizing your site. If you want to skip ahead to a certain part, we've placed timestamps down in the description. So let's get started. Welcome to Monster Insights, a better way to see your Google Analytics data, allowing you to focus on creating content that will help you grow your website and build your business. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when we post the next video showing you how to use the number one Google Analytics plugin for WordPress. First, let's take a look at what goals are and why you might need them. Goals in Google Analytics allow you to track specific user interactions on your site. These user interactions can be anything, including form submissions, product purchases, collection of leads, and more. When a website visitor performs a specific action that you've defined as a goal, Analytics records that as a conversion. Now let's take a look at how to set up goals in Google Analytics and why Monster Insights is much easier to use. The best tool to use to collect marketing data for your website is by using Google Analytics, but the problem with that is that sometimes it's difficult to install, to set up tracking, and to find the reports that you're looking for in Google Analytics. And that's where a plugin like Monster Insights comes in. Monster Insights is the best Google Analytics WordPress plugin available. It allows easy event tracking and displays reports right in your dashboard to see the conversion rate. This way you can make data-driven decisions, analyze which events as goals are performing better, and make the appropriate changes. One of the biggest advantages of using Monster Insights is that you don't have to manually set up goals in Google Analytics. It does this automatically for you. And all that's made possible through the amazing add-ons that are offered by Monster Insights. The Monster Insights plugin is available both in free and paid plans, so you've got a choice and can use whichever you like. Just know that the Monster Insights Lite plugin has only basic features. So if you're wanting to take advantage of all the benefits and features like those we'll mention in this video and have access to our great support team, you'll need to have a plus license or above. Now, if you don't already have a license, just head over to monsterinsights.com forward slash YTVIP where we've created a special deal for our YouTube viewers. Then, once you've made your purchase, you can download and install the plugin on your site and connect it to Google Analytics. If you'd like a step-by-step -step guide on setting everything up correctly, just see the link on your screen and in the description below. Now, once you've installed the plugin and connected it to your Google Analytics account, after a few hours, Google will begin gathering information about your site's visitors. The Monster Insights e-commerce tracking add-on gives you a complete view of how your audience is interacting with your store. It sets up goals for your e-commerce store automatically and gives you a report on the conversion rate, transactions, revenue, top performing products, average order value, and much more. But that's not all. With the Monster Insights plugin, you can see the referral sources from where your visitors are accessing the store and the exact revenue that they're sending your way. Using that data, you can push your products and promote your store where it matters. You can also measure the total add to cart and remove from cart feature to track conversion. That way, you can see if your goals are on track and make the right decisions. Now, if you have several forms on your website, creating goals for each of them can be difficult and can take up a lot of time. But if you use the Monster Insights form tracking add-on, you can track each form without messing with any code or going through the manual setup process of creating a goal. The WordPress plugin tracks all the forms that are on your site and displays their impressions, conversions, and conversion rate in a simple report. It's easy to see that goal tracking is simple with Monster Insights. Now let's look at the manual process of creating a new goal in Google Analytics. Now, if you've added Google Analytics to your site, you can set up goals by following these simple steps. To get started, you'll need to sign into your Google Analytics account and select the website for which you'd like to create a new goal. Now, in the left panel at the bottom of the screen, you'll need to click Admin. Then click Goals. All right, now you'll need to create a new goal, so click the New Goal button. Next, you'll be prompted to enter a description and the details of your goal. You'll just need to enter a suitable name and then choose the right goal type. Now, you'll see four goal types in Google Analytics. Destination, you can choose this goal if you want to treat a page viewer screen as a conversion. Duration, you can use this option to measure user engagement by treating time spent on a page as a conversion. Pages, screens per session. Now, this is another way to measure your user engagement, so you can measure the number of page views per session as a conversion. And finally, event. You can treat user interaction like button clicks, video plays, form submissions, and ebook downloads as conversions. So let's specify the name of your goal as form submission and then choose the event type. Now, after you've chosen your options, click continue. Now you'll be asked to enter the goal details and event conditions. So for category, you can enter forms, and for action, you can add conversions. 
Now, if you're using a forms plugin like WP Forms and have multiple forms on your site, you'll have to enter a unique ID for each form. Now, for the value option, just leave it as it is. Now, if you'd like, you can create monetary values for your conversions. So, for example, if you're setting up the goal for tracking e-commerce transactions, you can specify the goal value to measure the revenue each transaction generates. You can also click on the Verify This Goal link if you want to measure how often this goal would have converted on your data from the past seven days. Now, once you've entered those details, click Save. All right, now you've successfully created a goal in Google Analytics. And that's it. Of course, you can see how much easier Monster Insights is. Now check out the special offer for our YouTube viewers and join over 2 million professionals using Monster Insights to grow their business with confidence. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when we post the next video. In the meantime, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more free tips, tricks, and tutorials for using Monster Insights in WordPress.